Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll run through the functions, set up and demonstrate how to perform a simple moisture measurement using the IC T660. The T660 material moisture measuring device is designed for quick and non-destructive determination of near surface moisture distributions up to 4cm. It features the measuring head on the top, a continuous easy to clean glass surface made of highly scratch resistant special glass for a high contrast display of measured values a control panel with up, down, left, right selection buttons. The left button doubles as a menu key, the center button is the enter, accept, and the right button doubles as the back key. The sides are rubberized to aid in grip. These also serve as the ideal place to hold the meter to reduce the risk of compromising your results. There is a USB interface, an on-off key on the side, and on the back is the battery compartment. Once the batteries are installed, press the power button to turn the unit on. As it turns on, it will complete a self-calibration. This is indicated by Cal flashing on the screen. As this is occurring, try to hold the meter away from you or anything that may falsify the calibration. Once complete, the meter will enter measurement mode and is ready for operation. There are four configuration options for the T660. Enter the menu to adjust any of these items. To enter, press and briefly hold the left menu key. Here, you can adjust the screen brightness, measured materials, alarm and calibration offset. CFG in the top corner signifies configuration mode. Starting with brightness. Pressing the center accept key enters into the brightness adjustment setting. Press the up and down selections to adjust the screen brightness. Once selected, press and hold the enter key again. The unit briefly shows your selection, then returns to measurement mode. Next is measurement material setting. Press and hold the menu key to re-enter the menu. This time scroll across to mat. Press the down selection arrow. Pressing the center accept key when matte is flashing enters into material selection. There are three to choose from. Use the up and down selection keys to choose between zero no, this is no material selected. This is a reference scale only, so use this for building materials. One AN, the selected material is screed and grouts. And two CE, the selected material is concrete. For settings one and two, an additional value will be indicated on the upper measurement value display. This value is a combination of the material and calculated percentage. Press enter to accept. As we can see here, there is an additional measurement on the top of the screen as well as a relative measurement on the bottom. On concrete measurement mode, there are two settings. When CM is displayed, it is utilizing the calcium carbide method or volume mass method is utilized when CM is not on the screen. The next function you can adjust is alarms. Again, press and briefly hold the menu key to enter the menu. Then press the down selection until alarm starts to blink. Press and hold the accept key to enter into alarm adjustment. There are two selections here, turning the alarm on off as well as setting the alarm percentage. The blinking value on the screen is the value to be adjusted. So first use the up and down selectors to turn the alarm on or off. If on, use a left arrow to move across to the digits. Press up and down to adjust each digit and left or right to move to the next. Once the alarm limit is selected, press enter to accept and return to measurement mode. When the limit is exceeded, an audible alarm will sound. Last of all is the adjustment of the calibration offset. The sensors are already factory calibrated and have a corresponding calibration curve. If you're finding the measured value is too high or low, you can enter a calibration offset. To do so, enter the menu again by pressing and holding the menu key, this time pressing down twice until alarm starts to blink, and up once until cal starts to blink. Press the accept key to enter into calibration offset configuration. As with the alarms, there are two options. First, press the up and down keys to turn the offset on or off. Then use the left or right selection keys to move across each of the four digits and enter a calibration offset. Press accept to save and return to measurement mode. And that's the configuration options of the T660. To take a measurement, hold the unit at the black rubber surfaces and firmly place the measuring head in a vertical 90 degree angle to the surface or object being measured. Observe a minimum distance of 8 to 10 centimeters from corners. Then read the measured value from the display, either using the comparative scale as shown here or if in screed and concrete material settings by using the mass percentage or CM percentage. And that's how to set up and use the T660 material moisture measuring device. For more information on this meter, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Contact details are in the video description.
We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.